what's up guys it's diana here with the passion of business tv helping you transition your passion into the business that you love and today i'm going to be giving you three quick tips on how you can stay focused on your goals for 2017. number one write it down a lot of times we have great ideas we have great i just things that we want to do we have just incredible action steps that we think of that we should take in our business and then we forget about it and so you may not have the chance to write everything down maybe you don't have a pen maybe you don't have a uh, piece of paper, any kind of paper near you, but I would encourage you, every phone has a voice recorder app on it. Use it, put it right on the home page, right next to the dial button, right next to whatever your commonly used buttons are and have it ready, have it at the ready every single time. I can't tell you how many times before uh, last year that I just lost ideas. I mean, just like somebody took it out of my head, had no idea where it is and cannot think of it to save me. So I just, don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to suffer from thinking like, I know that was great. I know it would have helped so many people. I know it just would have, you know, propelled my business and it would have helped me so much, but I didn't remember it. So I would encourage you write it down, record it, capture that thought, whatever it takes to keep it. The thing that I would encourage you to do is actually do it. Take action on it today. A lot of times we are procrastinating on ideas and just all kinds of things that we really want to do and we're not taking action on it. And so maybe it got lost in the notebook that you wrote it down in. And so you wanna keep it present in front of your face each and every day. So I keep a little notebook with me at all times. You can get them at the dollar store so it doesn't take a lot to you know, have something like this on you, but keep that in front of your face. A lot of times it's because we forget. We just forget what we did with it. We forget where we put it and we still can't capture it. So it's just as bad as if we didn't write it down because we can't find it. So the second thing I would encourage you to do, keep it in front of you at all times and take action on it. Third thing I would encourage you to do is actually post it somewhere, share that information. Maybe if it's a, a specific idea or something that's very uh, you know, important to you, maybe it's something that's very, very unique. You don't wanna share that, but there are or should be some people in your life that you can share those intimate secrets, those intimate details of your life with and, and know that they are not gonna abuse that, that privilege that you're giving to them. And so I would encourage you, share it with someone, share it with your husband, share it with your wife, Share it with your best friend that you can trust to remind you and kick you in the butt a little bit and say, hey, you didn't do this this week. You said come Saturday, you were gonna do this for your business and you're not doing it. It's three o'clock, where are you? What are you doing? Remember that uh, commercial used to come on or at least it did here in St. Louis, it says 10 o'clock, where do you know where your children are? So it's three o'clock, do you know where your dreams and passions are? So I would encourage you, follow these three tips, launch your business today and actually take action on the things that are important to you in your life and transform your passion into the business that you love. I will talk with you guys later. Take care, everyone. Bye.